All right, man, let's talk about the Lions, the San Francisco 49ers, and Lions been chopping it up about a Matthew Stafford trade since uh, all through the night. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Make sure the video best way to donate to the channel. Mm. But I didn't get rid of my car tonight. night. But, but. But um, they said a little bit. 49ers offering two second round picks and two third round picks. And I heard the Saints offer the first and the conditional third and fourth. So I think they can get more than two seconds and two thirds at this point. I mean, really, the 49ers, I mean, they, if they're going to do that, they got to give me Jeff Wilson, the running back, or Raheem Morstead, if you're going to do that. But yeah, that's, a, that's a good deal, you know. Um, if they give them. Two seconds this year and two sec two thirds this year, or they get one second and one third this year and one second one third next year. I think that's what's up. I think you you build a lot of capital that way. So uh, if it's all if it's just all these picks this year, then you get what? You get ten picks this year, so you really can do a rebuild. But I think a lot of people is, is covering that first round pick, but it's a ton of talent that fall to the second round. You know, ton of talent. So I mean. You know, they said Brad Holmes really want to move quick through this process and get this done. Like I said earlier this morning, they had to get the deal done by March 21st or they got to owe Stafford a $10 million signing bonus. So, um, like I said before, I don't think that's a bad deal, but then you're going to have to throw in the running back for me then. That's just my opinion. Come on. You got to throw in the running back. Boy, Dearborn, y'all cannot drive. People in Dearborn suck at driving. Worst drivers in Michigan. But my whole thing is... I mean, I said, it depends on the picks. If you get a second this year and a second next year, third this year, third next year, either way, I think it's cool because, I mean, some people think you get a first and a first and a third and a fourth this year. You know, if I can get a top 10 pick, you know, so be it. And if I can get two in the first round pick from the Miami Dolphins, I'd do that. But to me, for that deal, they have to throw in a running back. Even Raheem Morstead or they got to throw in Jeff Wilson, and then I'll do that deal. Personally, I mean... You put Stafford in the situation, and you ask Stafford, you know, if you get a deal from Indianapolis that's similar, 49ers similar, New Orleans, whoever coming in for a quarterback, you get a deal that's similar. At the point, you just ask him where you want to go at that point. That's the least you can do. Unless you got an offer that's going to blow everything out the water. But, in my opinion, Rams, Brad Holmes about to milk everything. Real talk, he got to milk everything. Sorry, no good. But don't don't make up, don't mess up the accuracy of this trade. Don't mess up the accuracy of this trade. Trying to get it done quick. That's my issue. Get it done right. You hear from the 49ers, and if it's a deal, like two first round picks this year or something like that, then you gotta do it. If it's something that you just can't pass up, but my whole thing is. Don't try to be quick, because March 21st is a while away. Try to get the accuracy of the trade down pat. You know, you know, call the call the Indianapolis, call you know the Cowboys, call all these teams. Let's see who got the best hand. I think the accuracy of this trade is imperative, man. But you ain't gonna get three first round picks. Like they asked for Deshaun Watson, and they said today they expect Deshaun Watson. To be with the team, you gotta understand the NFL, the NFL like the NBA. The NBA don't the NBA, you know, it's a player to so the NFL is not. So Randy Moss had the days so when we shutting up we just playing, it's over with. <clears throat> I ain't too sure about that. <coughs> Damn. <coughs> but sorry. But I mean we'll see. But if Deshaun Watson, if they don't trade him, what are you gonna do? Retire? Or he gonna show up and play? Question: He gonna retire, show up and play? I don't know. But you know, Stafford, Stafford trade. I think that's a, that's a good 49er trade, as long as they throw in the back. Even Wilson and Morstead. I don't want Tevin Coleman or the other one. Jeff Wilson, Raheem Morstead. You throw me two seconds and two thirds. How they do it this year, or split them between this year and next year? We can do it. You know, and like they start draft right. You if you got three second round picks this year, 
or even two, you can come. You can come away with a play. You can trade two first rounders, two second rounders, and move into the first. You know, you get two thirds and two seconds this year. It's a wrap. As long as you do what you're supposed to do with it, but you know, people got this imagination that you can get three number ones for Stafford. You get one, or two, or three for Stafford. Not probably not going to be the case. You know, probably not going to be the case. But I, I think the deal, as long as they give him a back, the deal is great. It allows the Lions to rebuild in the, you know, the early, the early, the mid rounds. And really, nobody know what they uh, evaluation of the roster is. It just seemed like. The evaluation of the roster from the gym in the past and from the fans have been totally different. Especially from Bob Quinn. Bob Quinn liked the linebackers. He didn't think they had a D-line problem. I think when you, you look at the picks they go into the draft, this draft with, obviously a quarterback is somewhere on the, on the thing. But then if you can bring in a Dak Prescott or, you know, somebody that you trust at court, if you can bring in Dak, it's going to open up the draft. I'm telling you, if you bring in Dak Prescott, it's going to open up the draft. Because then, you know, you can take a receiver if Smith dropped to you. I think Smith gonna drop in the draft because of his measurements and his height. I think he gonna drop in the draft. So you can rush around to get Smith and, and, and you know replenish your defense and line, find the right tackle, find some line. You can find linebackers all over the draft. You can find them all over the draft. But, you know, I think that's a good deal. I mean, the Lions better get it back out of there. You know, give me Jeff Wilson. Shit, it's Stafford, y'all. Y'all talking about y'all franchise quarterback. And then the question is, you know, once he get over there, can he win or do he find a way to lose? If you go over there and lose in 49, it's going to be hard to get a better quarterback than Jimmy Garoppolo, in my opinion. You know, but then again, you know, just like Jimmy Garoppolo missed that throw in the Super Bowl last year. Matthew Stafford stay missing critical throws or important throws. You know, that's all I'm saying. He stay missing them throws, but everybody want to ignore that. That's my issue. He ain't gonna go out there and win it for you, but in San Francisco, you don't have to win it. You know, not every game. Run the ball, play action. It's a simple offense. I expect Stafford to pick it up a lot. And I think he a better thrower to ball than Matt Ryan. So he might go over there and change the power in the NFC for real. For real. If you take less off his plate, he might he might he might digest his food a little bit better. But I think he might be the most talented quarterback that they had. Kyle Shanahan had, I can remember, up visibly other than RG3. Because Matt Ryan can't make all the throws. Not at the not with the arm of Stafford guy. So, you know, you know, Jimmy Garoppolo and Stafford kind of remind you of each other. And I think with Jimmy Garoppolo going back to uh, New England though, when they cut him, if they do cut him against Stafford, but I said that's a good deal. I just want to get Jeff Wilson or Raheem Marstead off that roster. Then I don't have to worry about drafting the back that can help DeAndre Swift. Now I got two young backs. That's how I look at it. Oh. But the Lions might look at it different then, you know, basically, you, you know, maybe you put that out there and make Indianapolis bust a move, make Miami bust a move. And, you know, if Miami not in a, in a move for trading for a quarterback, this just might tell you that they might believe in Tua or they might be drafting one at the number three spot, which is Houston draft pick. They might be drafting one. You know? But with Charles that New Orleans, the number one pick, that's going to be 28. But they was the offensive lines I heard. You could trade two ones and go back to the 28 spot. Two, two twos, excuse me. So, depends on, you know, pretty much how they want to look at it. But I think it's a good deal. Just throwing one of them back. It's Morstead, Raheem Morstead, or, or Jeff Wilson. Then we got a deal. They got their quarterback. Stafford will be 32 this year. You know, we got the compensation. And I think that's adequate, to be honest. As long as they throw, they throw it back in there, I'm happy. You know, maybe they get one of that dude from uh that was from Stanford. I always forget his name, and he ain't really balling over there. Maybe it changed the center and help the defense alignment cat. They picked a couple of years ago in like the top three or four or five picks, but I think it's I think it's a solid trade. I just want to them backs in there. And now I want none of the other backs. I want Morstead or I want uh Jeff Wilson, and then we got a deal. You know. And 
then I, that's, you know, the Lions can open up as much as $40 million in cap. With the cap going down this year. But you hear they might add another game to, they might add another game to accommodate that cap. So, if they add another game to accommodate that cap, that's a wrap. But, like I said, man, they, they got other guys that they can trade or, 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 or release and, and uh, get co uh, compensation or, or get, you know, more draft picks. But I think them sitting at, if it's just two twos, you know, this year and the two threes this year, I think it's a situation in which uh, they can make a quick rebuild if they hit on these picks. Because you can fire receivers late in the draft. My, my whole thing is they bring Galladay back or some people like Allen Robinson, he from the D. You get them, you get one of them. You draft Smith if you get if you get a guy like Dak. If you don't get a guy like Dak, you gotta take a quarterback. And then, to be honest, if you can't solidify the quarterback going into this draft, you think Smith the best receiver in this draft, you take him or you take the defensive lineman from Alabama. Then, then you roll on from there. Let's just say they do get Dak Prescott or a quarterback in free agency. I think they should get Dak. Okay, that's my opinion. If Dak out there, you know, you get Dak one, two year deal, see how it works. Then at number seven. You know, if you still, you know, you still there, let you move down. I think Devontae Smith, because his size going for it. Get Smith, bring Galladay back. Later in the draft, find you a right tackle. Find you an interior lineman. <laughs> you know, you already got the back from uh, 49er land. Find receiver. It's, it's just so many, so much talent you can find, you know, in the draft, man. So, if I'm them, like I said before, I solidify my quarterback position with Dak Prescott. As long as his physical check out, I give him what he want, bring him in Detroit. You know, you got the backs. If you get Jeff Wilson, Raheem Marcy, you got DeAndre Swift, bring Galladay back, you draft Smith for the seventh pick. You know, what was a weakness is not a strength. But now you faster, you faster at the quarterback position. You bring in Wilson and Morstead, he's faster at the running back position with him and, with him and Swift. You bring Galladay back, you faster last year because you got a healthy Galladay. You bring Smith in, you faster there because you fa you're faster because you better with you know, Smith instead of uh, Marvin Jones, then you find you a little receiver late, or you can let Quintez Cephas work out the slot. You do a better football team, offensively, speed-wise, and you draft the right tackle in the middle of great rounds, and then you're coming back better next year. You're going to have a healthy line, and, and the only thing is, how's the coaching going to be? You know, is the coaching going to be better? You know, I thought the coach was better under Daryl Bevel. They seem to be have a pep in their step with, with Bevel as the, off, as the uh, interim head coach. I think it could be a situation in which, you know, these dudes got a pep in their step. And if the coaching is good, then this team can play, make the playoffs next year. They can make the jump. If not, you know, keep building through the draft. I mean, if they get all them picks this year, this team could be a lot better. A lot of people forget you got Julian Okor coming back healthy next year. You know what I'm saying? If you draft two linemen in this draft, let's say you want to go with the Alabama interior lineman this year. You know, you draft one late. Now, Peninsula and Hand, your starting tackles last year, they go to your reserve tackles. Defense, that's even better. You bring, you're probably going to bring Flowers back. You're going to bring a core back. You're bringing Julian back. So, you get a lot of guys healthy that's going to play as a unit, you know, and play a little bit better. So, I, mean, I look forward to that next year, man. Let me know what you guys think. Check out Detroit Lions Talk Playlist. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video request. All my social media links, description, fast way to reach me is Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. All the links in the description. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Best way to donate, share the video. Uh, don't forget to check out the channel. All Goodfellas Sports TV right here on YouTube. One time for one time. We gone.